Hey, hey, Aldwin Altenay here, and I am with the amazing Christiane V. She is a phenomenal lady. She has healed herself of many things, and she's a fantastic coach and an author as well. And she's going to talk today with you about why it's so important to nurture yourself and connect with yourself. And she's got a fantastic retreat coming up as well, which she'll let you know about. Hello, Andrew and Gary, nice to see you. Okay, we're coming over to Christiane right now. Hello, Gregory, Hi. nice to see you guys. Gerard, Gerard, with lots of people. Hello, Christiane. Hi. Hi, how are you? Very, very good. Thank and you for, thank you for um, you know, accepting to do this Facebook Live with me. Um, what I really want to do today is promote um, a retreat that I've had in mind for so many years. It's just so close to my heart. Um, I've managed to bring some amazing people together to nurture and um, have people look at their health but also their mindset and also the, uh, the other idea of bringing everybody together is um, as a group um, when, because we, all, we are all connected then we can actually work together and transform what needs to be transformed and coming together have us see things that sometimes we don't really see uh, when we're just in the you know the everyday life and the motion of things that are happening and things that are being, being thrown at us every day mm. and we just get caught in life and all the drama so it is so good for us to just take some time just for us and look at our lives and see what needs to be probably transformed or enhanced. So uh, it's been my real, real dream for a long, long time to have a retreat and have people do that and nurture themselves. So mm -hmm. it's taken some time for me to bring all these amazing people together. And um, I've got... Um, to start with, there's going to be a couple who does chanting and they do their own songs. They'll be doing a voice a workshop, which is going to be really good. And I think our voice is so important. Most of the time, we keep going in life and not really expressing what we really want to say. We just keep so much to ourselves. And sometimes, just sharing you know what we have in our minds can really help people look at things in their lives as well and we can identify that as human beings we're all the same mm. and when we're dealing with things in life and sometimes challenging time then we get to see that uh, we deal with it we, we all have, we all experience pain the same way and we get to also um, feel that we need to be heard and we need to be understood so when we come together things are so much easier mm. and we discover something new each time so and there's the dynamic of a group working together and discovering something mm. so um, also there'll be <laughs> hello hello I'll just I'll just slip over for a sec because I've got some questions here um, before we go on now we're talking about why it's important to connect with self and also to connect with others and also to nurture yourself in this busy life that we lead nowadays. Now we've got quite a few people on this live. Hello Andrew, Gary, Gregory, Jared, Linda, Richard, Charlie, Michael, Melanie, so many great people on this. Sada, Brian, hello, hello. Now Linda is asking what illness have you overcome and also Sadar wants to know who we are and where we're from. So we're actually both from the Gold Coast Sadar uh, and uh, right now we're just outside the, uh, we're at the Star Casino actually in Broad Beach and we've just seen Aquaman which is a fantastic movie and most of it was filmed on the Gold Coast uh, so that's been really great to see that and I love the message in Aquaman too which is about the earth and the sea really are one and we need to respect the planet that's what I got as the underlying message for Aquaman so back to you Christiane what illness have you overcome for Linda? Oh hi Linda this is a very very good question actually so for me um, what um I got diagnosed with diabetes um, about two years ago and um, for me it was something that really shocked me because for all my life 
although I had really, really huge challenges, I've always known that I can heal myself and I've always taken good care of myself and um, always ate well and look after my skin and um, try to do uh, meditation and yoga and all that kind of thing that really kept me healthy. And when I was diagnosed, it was just a big shock because um, so many times I went to the doctors and he used to tell me, you know what, it's genetic. Your mother had diabetes and um, my sisters had diabetes and, um, you know, for some reason he thought I would have it at some point. And eventually they came and he announced I had diabetes. And when I got to um, see the diagnosis and I thought, well, this is something I don't want in my life. And um, once I made a decision, I knew I had to find ways to heal myself. And then I drew back on how so many years ago I was exposed to Zen Macrobiotic. And there's so many ancient ways of keeping healthy. And another um, area of um, healing ourselves is Ayurvedic medicine. And this is another area that I want to explore as well because there's so much wisdom and so much, so many ways of how we can first keep healthy and also if we get um, we get uh, to have a condition that really affects our lives, we can actually reverse that. And, um, and I constantly now research on YouTube and I find that even if you're in that, you know, your teeth are not um, in good condition, you can actually reverse that. You can reverse your aging process, you can reverse any condition or any disease you have. And also there's so many things in the world now that um, you can have access to to actually get rid of inflammation in your body. It's, it's actually inflammation that actually causes diabetes, Alzheimer's and all sorts of things. It's just because we are exposed to, you know, we are being given so many type of food that's not really healthy and not contributing to our body. And it's just so um, tempered with. Um, even the milk we drink is not even good and I avoid drinking milk as well. So I try to go to natural grains and and natural and fresh vegetables so they're mostly the things that will uh, they're still alive so they actually will you know um, nourish your body and you eat according to your blood type diet as well don't you Christian correct this is one of the one other thing that really saved me and had me heal myself in such a short time because um, um, once upon a time, I heard about um, blood type diet and I promptly went to a place where they could give me what my blood type was because I didn't know what, my, what was my blood type. So I went, once I found what blood type I was, I, um, I actually um, made some research and had a list of things that, um, I could, that could work with my blood type. And since then, I, uh, since I was diagnosed, I rigidly uh, stuck to that. It gave me a list of vegetables and um, vegetables and fruits and other things that really will work with my blood type. And that helped me concentrate on these, these uh, items that was nutritious to my body. So I didn't have to really wonder so much what would work, what wouldn't work. So that really helped me narrow down to a, a kind of um, regime that I, could, I was able to stick to and it helps me uh, keep my weight in control. So generally I find that it's something that's very beneficial and I still do it today and it helps me keep my health uh, in check. And I thoroughly um, advise people to you know, to probably look at it and see whether it works for them. Mm. But although there's many other things that can work for people, but you have to be connected to what really works with your body. Beautiful. And what are some ways people can nurture themselves and connect with themselves? I know your retreat's going to be amazing. For those that can't make your retreat, though, what are some tips for them maybe while they're at home or some general day-to-day -day practices they can do to nurture themselves and, you know, connect with themselves and what they want? Yeah, so that's quite easy. First of all, um, what I advise people to do is just always find something that you really connected to 
and that you really love doing if you do one thing that you love doing that really brings you back closer to who you are and it has you to connect with the things that brings you joy so it could be just for me and now I walk one hour every day and I think that really gives me time to I listen to YouTube and do my own research that way and listen to a lot of things that gives me more knowledge but at the same time I can feel that it does a lot of um, um, gives a lot of benefit to my body and I know even my skin looks better and my body uh, when you walk you're getting rid of toxins in your body so mm. so that's really beneficial but you can just go for a walk on the beach or yes um you know there's anything that you feel that's going to bring you joy and relax you nice um, one and also people that you know have very good vibration very good energy so if you just spend time with them or you know just spend time with your family and nurture them as well or just cooking or anything that really you know brings joy in your life so do something that that brings you joy also enjoy the people in your life and and also maybe check in with your environment uh just check in also you know are the friends around you are the people around you actually supporting you in your goals are they lifting your energy up or are they bringing your energy down? And this is very important to check in with your environment as well. Something I've started to doing too, Christiane, I'll bring it around to both of us now. Uh, something I've started to do more of is, is get massages and I love swimming in the ocean. That's that's really my happy place. I love just ducking out, even if it's for half an hour, yes, an hour, to duck out to magic. the beach and go for a swim. I love body surfing. There's nothing quite like being rolled around in the, <laughs> in the ocean, uh, whether it's backwards or forwards. I just love it. It's, it's real playtime for me to actually get out and, and, you know, have that magnesium and the vitamin D of the sun. And, you know, I just love getting... And it's grounding too because you're getting your feet in the sand. Uh, so it's very important to nurture yourself, particularly I know a lot of people on this live right now are business owners. And, you know, this is why we started the Gold Coast Business Laughter Club because a lot of business owners owners have high depression and anxiety out there and they really need to chill out a bit more and laugh so laughter is another great tip on how you can nurture yourself and eat really nourishing foods what you put in your body is really important you and connecting with nature just yes. like all twin mentioned she loves the ocean and just you know having your feet in you know just on the ground um, just walking yes. uh, in a park or anything in the, you know anything that really brings you back to nature gardening is even very good yes gardening's great gardening's great so tell us a bit more about this retreat so you've got a few people coming along and it's uh, what's the dates again and where is it the date uh, the dates are the 16th and the 17th of February um, it's like a couple of weekends away and it's going to be fabulous because we have we're going to have um, workshops we're going to have uh, Tibetan bowls, um, mm. sound healing meditation, nice. which is really amazing. And even that really changes your mindsets because the, the, the um, sound and, and if you get to do meditation according to the different frequencies, which actually calms your mind and your body and really sometimes recalibrate your body. So sound healing meditation is just totally amazing. Mm. And uh, what else Fantastic. we have? We've got a couple of girls who are going to cook very nutritious food uh, for us for the day. Nice. And um, the next day we'll be having uh, emotional clearing. Emotional clearing. Mm. So if you've got anything that's in your space and something you're dealing with and something you're dealing with from the past that you don't even know, there'll be um, Akashic um, reading and emotional clearing. There'll be three hours whereas where the person delivering it actually it's uh, Anastasia she will be working one-on-one -on -one in a way and you be able, she'll be able, able to answer your questions and you got any questions and anything that she sees that in your space and you want to get rid of so that's going to be the time to do it and just Beautiful. give space for you to fill in with more things that you want to do and give you more directions ahead and uh, we're also going to have um, cacao ceremony and mm. movement, which is going to nice. be finishing the whole Beautiful. retreat. Uh, 
um, probably learning a little bit about how emo, uh, essential oils has got good vibration, good frequencies that actually um, benefits the health as well. So there's been lots of things happening. So we'd Yay. love to have you there. So awesome. Um, yeah, that's, that's... and thank you, um, Aldrin, for giving me the opportunity to um, share this with you. And thank you for the audience to be there and, and listening to us this afternoon. You're welcome. You're welcome. And that's called Remember Who You Are. It's February 16 and 17 in the Gold Coast hinterland. Where can people get tickets, Christian? Right. So I probably will send you a link if that's okay, and then yep. you can put it on your website. And yep. if people want to book any book for the tick, um, the two day retreat, then um, you will find the link on Aldwin's. Um, we'll put it Aldwin's on Aldwin's group. We'll, or we'll on... put it. Yeah, we'll stick it in the chat. We'll just stick it in the chat under this oh, Facebook awesome. live. That'd be good. That'd and be good. you've got an event set up on Facebook, so remember who you are. If they go to that, they'll find Correct. the event yes. and they can book through that too, right? Yeah, and also okay. the day before, like the night before, there'll be a two um, two hour. Um, two hour concert on chanting with the same couple who will be delivering the voice workshop the following day nice. and they've been um, they've been touring um, in Australia and also they do perform um, internationally as well and they're wow. totally amazing fantastic so if um, if actually I'm just giving a special if anybody book for, for the tickets for the two days by Friday, you'll be getting a ticket free for the concert because that's going to be something not to be missed. Fantastic. And it's going to be at the same venue. Great, and it's and it's it's really affordable. It's a really well priced retreat. Um, it's would you like to give the, the price? Okay, so uh, the whole the two days will be four hundred and forty four, and if some some people cannot attend the one the two days. They can choose to go on the Saturday or the Sunday, and that's half the price. It's 220, and you're going to get beautiful food as well. And uh, but the free ticket only applies for the people who actually book for the two days. Yes, so they book for so, two days, they get the free concert the night before. Yes. So yes. that's the 16th and 17th, so it'll be the night of the 15th as well? Uh, yeah. So the night so of the 15th of February. Two days, um, yeah. booking the two days, we will give you a free ticket for the. Um, for the concert the night before at the same venue. Fantastic. Thank you, Christian. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm grateful for you because you've uh, really helped me out a lot over the years when I've, you know, had a few breakdowns. I know it's hard to think that I would have any breakdowns whatsoever because I'm always so happy and cheery. However, it does happen occasionally. And actually, I have had depression over the years. I've had four friends that have actually taken their own lives between the age of 31 and 45. And that's from depression. Uh, and it's absolutely tragic. So something I'm really passionate about is actually to help lift people's spirits and help promote more good news out in the mass yeah. media. And when I've had my breakdown, I give Christiana a call and she coaches me through it and you've been awesome. And I haven't had a breakdown, thankfully, for quite a while now, although last time I did, you were amazing, Christiane, and I can't uh, recommend her highly enough. If anyone feels that they need also some one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can help with, so check her out. She is tagged on this Facebook Live. Uh, so Christiane V, check her out and remember who you are, Retreat. Uh, have a look at that on Facebook and we'll put the link under this as well. And, and that's the reason why we have to come together because people can go easily in depression and when we know we can just be with the group and be able to share what we're going through, then it just makes a whole a whole of uh, difference yes. and being together and working things together and also just making new friends and connecting you know yeah. it's all about connection absolutely connecting with self connecting with others nurturing yourself loving yourself so that you can love others too and a mutual friend of ours Tracy Corman she always says the love that you have for others is there for you too so just remember that all that love you have for other people, it's also there for you to love yourself as well. Thank you so much, Christian. And I'll put in a little plug for my upcoming events as well. We've got the Gold Coast Business Laughter Club event coming up on the 12th of February next week. And we've got a fantastic drag queen, a comedy queen coming from Brisbane to perform. Michael Bennett, international comedian, is also going to be performing. Uh, we've got Walter Smith performing, doing some Native American flute. He's amazing as 
as well. So uh, check it out, Gold Coast Business Laughter Club on Facebook. It's $15 plus booking fee online or $20 at the door and all that money goes to charity uh, it, and it actually supports three charities. Uh, we've got my charity, which or my charity of choice in the last year has been Healing Hooves Horse Sanctuary based in Narang, which has special needs horses um, that actually work with special needs people. Donna Lee Perfect and Michael Bennett, beautiful couple. Their charity, of course, is the Dream Guards anti-bullying charity that they they run and they um, do a lot of anti-bullying programs. And then Tracy Corman, her charity of choice is the Vinnie's CEO Sleep Out. So she's helping homeless people. So all the money goes to charity for that. And it's a fantastic networking event. And particularly for business people, you know, you need to just chill out a bit more, take some time out. That's a great event. And then for anyone who wants to see my media workshop who hasn't already how to gain a million dollars worth of free publicity. I've got my next event 21st of March, so you can just uh, search that or have a look at my profile, you'll see that. And that night, the 21st of March too, we've got the Mass Media Masters Meetup and we've got Susan Sheehan who's gonna be talking about how to speak confidently with the media. So that's gonna be a great event as well. And of course, the Remember Who You Are Retreat with Christian V, so check all those out on Facebook. And remember to take some time out for you. I also love Christian just every morning thinking about what I'm great for and I'm really grateful for you guys watching this right now I'm grateful for you Christian beautiful person in my life very inspiring and you've got a book out as well so people can have a look at that on your profile uh, and I'm grateful to live on the Gold Coast which really is like heaven on earth Great. I'm grateful my parents are still alive they're actually with me today we've got a family day as well today so grateful for my beautiful parents and for my family all over the world uh, and for my beautiful friends and um, I'm grateful that I get to do what I love and I love what I do and I think that really is crucial to having a great life. Any other final words, Christian? Um, what I have to say is just um, nurture yourself and know if there's anything that you've got to deal with, there's always an answer for it and ask for the answers yes. and always connect and find out what is best for you yes. and always love yourself and nurture yourself. That's the only way you can give love to others. Yes, beautiful. Thank you so much, Christian. Thank you, thank you. I'm just going to come back to me for a minute. Just say a quick hello to all our newer people who've just joined the live as well. Uh, we're up to Brian, I think. Hello, Brian from Brisbane. Francis Borg, hello. Gopal Krishnan, hello. Uh, Norma Thomas and Stephen. Sada says, you good. Oh, thank you, Sada. You good too, hopefully. <laughs> Mark Walker, hello. Nice chat, Gopal. Thank you. Yes, you can reverse any disease. Alan Ryan, nice to see you here. Iggy, hello. Garth, Linda Dyer, Janice Muir. Wow, so many amazing people on this live. Thank you so much for joining us. What are you grateful for today if you're watching this? And what are some things you do to nurture yourself and connect with yourself and others? And um, love to hear from you. Where are you beaming in from right now around the world? I'm grateful for Facebook Live and this technology as well to be able to connect with so many people from around the world. Check out the Remember Who You Are retreat. Check it out on Facebook. Also, we'll pop it into the chat here. Also, Gold Coast Business Laughter Club. Make sure you check that out on Facebook and Meetup and Mass Media Masters Meetup as well. And that's also on Facebook. And we've got the How to Gain a Million Dollars Worth of Free Publicity full day event coming up on 21st of March. So love to see you there as well. Thank you once again for joining us. Thank you for all the loves and likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Go out and live your love. Shine your light bright so you can light up those around you. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. We'll say goodbye thank to all our you. face of lovers. See you later. And have a great night or morning wherever you are in the world. Bye for now.